Welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. All right, I told you I was going to talk to you about something really cool, about how we can break through and start to create a life completely different than we're living. And I mean changing the world and having the world live completely different than the way we've been living. Are you ready for this? It's not, it's not going to be, you know, blow, blow your mind kind of stuff. It's just going to join me in this kind of thinking kind of stuff. All right. So you know how we, like, life is about learning, 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 so that we can work, 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 so we can make money, 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 so that we can finally go have fun. And then if you get some time in there between that and, you know, the kids and the, you know, all the soccer practices and, you know, the illnesses and all the other stuff and worry, worry and running around and work, 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 and then worrying about money and everything else. Then we might fit in something we love. Maybe you get to cook and you're so exhausted. It's like, oh, my God, you're not really enjoying it or you 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 save and get everything and then prep for the vacation so you get off and try and get some freedom. What if we turned all of that completely around? All of it. What if making money was something you did on the side and all the things you wanted to do <laughs> were how you lived your life? <laughs> what if everything that you were passionate about and dreamed of was your main core of living and then the money on the side and then when you made the money on the side that was fun too can you imagine living like that I do I do it exists right now for all of you and by the way this is not a sales pitch for my internet marketing it's of course that's what I do for a living and as you see you can click on here there are other ways to do this, but I happen to do it by using the internet. We live in a different world now and you can actually focus on everything that you love and use technology to create income that doesn't require anything but automation and a little bit of oversight. And even that you find fun. Why aren't people doing this? We're so stuck in this conventional word. Oh, college degree. If you don't get a college degree, well, let's face it. There are a lot of things you have to do. God, I had to make sure my mic was on. I've talked, I've talked a few times without the mic on. So many of you uh, don't need your college degree. Now, I'm not encouraging that. I think there's wonderful things to be learning college. A lot of it doesn't even apply, and a lot of it isn't even true, including history and politics and all that other stuff. It's just bull crap. Sorry, it is. It's just made up crap. Based on what history... By the way, go to a different country, and it'll be different in every country. They'll give you different stories. But then there's mathematics and science and, you know, medicine and all those things, and that's a completely different kind of pathway. But a lot of the education we get is really not very useful. And the stuff that we're doing in the real world isn't even taught most of the time in universities unless you go to a special college or whatever. And then you spend four years or more walking in a classroom, buying books, or, you know, hopefully they're doing it online now. I don't know. And uh, sitting in classrooms and all the, you know, and depending on if the instructor likes you or not, or if you learn a certain way that suits them, or God forbid you're outside of the box, you don't learn the same way somebody else does. All these kids in, you know, uh, before they even get into college, you know, some of them are brilliant and they're, they're named as slow learners because they're just not learning like the conventional way of living. I'm so tired of the conventional way, aren't you? Tradition. Who cares? What are we getting with tradition and convention? Nothing. It's not freedom. It's not joy. It's not living a life of passion. It's us working our butts off because it serves the people and the... I'm, I'm not... See, I don't want to start sounding like conspiracy theory. I don't believe in all that stuff. I believe, you know, it is what it is and just get on with it. But there are layers of human beings that have 
benefited from having others be the workers. That's just a fact. So that might be a different kind of, you know, energy, person, dimension, frequency, that really wants to make money. So if we're all thinking about making money, then they want to get to the highest position and get everyone to make money to make more money so that they can have a life too. They just happen to be really good at getting everybody else to work for them. And then all these people are down working, working, we're trying to, and it's just this constant thing, and we're all in the same. So that person that's trying to get everybody to work for them is no different than the workers who work for them. It's also everybody just trying to survive and not loving their life, and then they get to be a baby boomer like I am, and they go, what the heck? This isn't getting better. Is this what I was working my whole life for? Oh, my gosh. Holy cow, now what? And that's why you see so many have, people having a midlife crisis. They're like, I haven't been living my life. What if you lived your whole life the way you wanted to all the time? All the time. It's possible. It's going to take a change of thinking and some action to do things that are very unconventional that are going to make you uncomfortable. But if we all do this, the entire world will change. And there will be professions that want to go into the work, that love making things, that love doing surgery. And that's great. I'm going to tell you, though, what did I just say? Somebody who's making something, that's a passion. They earn money for it. Now, I saw a show recently uh, called The Healer. It's uh, on TLC. Oh, I hope I got the station right. It's on TLC here in the United States. And this guy, he goes around healing people. He's an Australian. He lives here in the United States. And he doesn't charge. But he really loves doing this. And he loves that he's making a difference. And he has this beautiful ability. He doesn't know where it came from. But he wants to make a difference so that other people like him will stop feeling like freaks and can come out. Can you believe that human beings would possibly call somebody a freak, or call a fraud to somebody who can actually prove that they're healing people. But we're in that stuck conventional thinking. What if you break out of all of it and say, you know what? And yes, of course there's fraudulent people out there. Usually they're charging a lot of money. They're making money. There's a, there's a reason. There's a profitable, once again, if I make money off of this thing that I give to people and I make a lot, now you gotta pay the bills. A lot of people, you gotta charge sometimes. People have to charge because they don't have the luxury of that backup income. But money really creates a lot of issues for us because we wanna survive. So we start to take our passion. How can my passion make me money? Well, it's possible it could. And that might be an even exchange. Maybe you're, you know, you're charging, it's not crazy money. People are happy to give money to get things that they want. I know I am. I know that people like Joe Dispenza, they have to pay for the hotel room and the food that they give us and all this stuff. And his time, heck, I love, man, I'll write checks all day to that guy. He's awesome. But what if, and that's an even exchange, but what if you could do what you love and put that income on the side? So I want you to think of ways to do that. How can you earn money so that it isn't the primary focus of your life? You can go to the internet. That's one huge way. You can click on here and get free videos to learn about it. How do we learn this stuff? How do we learn and how do we have people that support us to help us to create these businesses online? Because you don't want to do it alone, trust me. And once you learn it, it's so powerful. So I buckled down, and I had to learn something very uncomfortable. She's like, I'm like, I don't even like Facebook. If you ever, by the way, if you guys ever message me on Facebook, if I don't like respond, it's because I rarely get on there. I don't like to say, here's what my food looks like, or, you know. I, I, I have very little time for anything other than helping other people. I literally help, each, help people all day. That's all I do. It's wonderful. And it helps me. It's good for me. I, it's, it's a giving-receiving thing because I love it. I help people on the Internet to create their businesses, the members. Um, and then I blog. I shoot videos for you guys. I don't get paid for shooting videos for you guys. Um, I advertise my Internet business. 
to try and get people to start thinking differently, to change their lives, to find another way of making money so they can be with their kids. I hear this all day. These people are not with their kids. And then they're struggling to make money. There are so many different ways for you to think unconventionally and start to change your life. And if your whole life was about just your passion. So now, um, my business partner, Kevin Moore, uh, and I were just filming. He's got a documentary he's filming, and we're, we're shooting for a television series. And everything we're doing is to inspire people and send positive messages. So our work is our passion, but we're not concerned about the money. Obviously, there's money to be made in that, but that's not what's driving me. And the problem with these with having to worry about money is that every time you do something that you're passionate about, you know that it has to generate money to support you if you don't have any other money coming in. And that's when the worry starts to come in. And then the passion stops being something driven solely from your heart and it becomes more focused on the money. And that's when it's not fun anymore. So we're, he comes into town, we're working on this thing. I don't even think about money. I'm not even thinking about money because I am generating an online business. And I'm actually helping other people do what I'm doing, change their lives. And it's automated while I'm going and doing what I love. It's possible for you to do all of this. And it's not just the internet marketing. By the way, I love it. I'm not talking about MLM or pyramid schemes, by the way. I'm talking about creating an online business. You can have an e-commerce store. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can do coaching online. You have to learn how to do this stuff. If you can switch your thinking about, here's the conventional way of learning. I have to get a job. Then I do the passion on the side. I'll have a side business. How many times do people say, I'll do a side business? Why does it have to be a side business? Because people think you can't make money doing that. It's a side business. Could you just pick what you really love that you would love to do all day? Well, for me, it's a lot of things. I write. I love gardening. I love doing my lawn. I love decorating. I did that for a while. I actually got a little degree to, to decorate. And, um, and also, of course, I'm into production, you know, television production now. And now I'm writing mentoring courses for you guys to take so that we can take you step by step. It's like a six to eight week course on how do you start changing your thinking? How do you start manifesting? How does this all work? Giving you exercises. I'm creating that online. That's going to be so much fun for me to do. So yes, you can make money from your passion, but when it becomes the sole driver for you, it will stop being something that comes from your heart that you're enjoying. And it becomes this survival mode kind of thinking. And that's not the solution. What if you could live your life when the money was just the thing on the side and it gave you so much and it was so plentiful that you could just live a life of passion? Wouldn't that be like awesome? Yeah. I want you to start thinking about this. How do I turn this around? How do I create that? How do I live the life of passion? And what if you could do what you just love and make enough money and not worry about the money? And now if you can do it and, you know, it does, the money isn't like, oh my God, stressing you out. I'm doing all this stuff. I love what I'm doing, but I'm not making money. So it's, it's horrible. I'm working so hard and I'm not loving it anymore because I'm not making enough. If you can get that balance, it's time to start breaking out of the box. Break out of that box and go after what you love and figure out how the money is secondary and how you can get it to flow even more than what you're earning now. There are a lot of ways and you can find them. And it doesn't entail the way we've been learning and working and what we're told to do. And everybody tells you how silly you are if you break out of that box. You know why? Because they're in that box. You know, have you ever seen the village? You know, they want, they build these, the wall around this town, this, you know, acres, hundreds of acres of land. And they tell the kids that this is it. And they're not to go beyond this space. Because they want to keep this pristine world. And they're afraid to, that if anybody breaks out of that box, they're going to be exposed to what's out there. 
what if what's out there is anything you want to choose? It's, it, it is anything you want to choose. You're not in the village. You can climb over the wall and go see what's over there. Even if the village tells you you need to live this way, everything's pristine. Sometimes the challenge on the other side of that wall is what's going to take you to new places. They didn't want murder or crime or anything, but the joke about the village, that movie, is they couldn't stop that anyways. There's always something in the human being that has to go into those spaces to explore things, that has emotions and things that we don't understand. It's part of our human experience. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid to go do something that's not approved of, that other people are going to frown on because it's not conventional, because we're all automatons walking around like freaking robots. And we think we're all supposed to do certain things and live a certain way. And here's the perfect American family or the perfect European family or whatever, wherever you come from. We all know what that is, right? If I asked you to describe it, you'd say, you know, you have a beautiful home with, you know, two kids and a dog, maybe a cat. Uh, you get to vacation, you know, everybody has good jobs and two cars. And, and we have this image in a beautiful neighborhood with great neighbors and great schools and wonderful teachers and whatever. We have a vision of that. Break out of it, man. I'm not saying you shouldn't have all those things, but I'm telling you, if you start to reverse your thinking, every one of those perfect homes has a mom or dad working their tail off who's exhausted, who's saying, oh, who would sell it all in a minute to get a quality life. And then there's people that don't even have it and are working hard. And they don't have any of that. Or the happy job or the money. And all of that has to change too because whatever you're doing isn't working. If what you're doing isn't working, what can you do to break out of your box? To be totally unconventional. What can you do to live that life where your passion is first and the money comes second? And can you use the passion to create income, not as the focal point, but as the bonus? I know a lot of you are saying, oh, this sounds really great, but i got to make money. How are you doing right now? Guess what? I broke out of the box, and I'll tell you how I'm doing. And it's really darn good. And yes, I get challenged. Of course I do. Yes, I have my moments when I'm going, oh my God, what am I going to do about this and this and this? I have to make decisions about things. Nothing's static. Nothing stays the same. But every time I make that decision and I don't let the fear set in, I break away to a new level. And I go, whoa, okay, I didn't expect this. This is huge. And that's like, oops, now I'm going to have to go there. Now I'm going to have to do the big stuff. I'm actually going to have to go on tour next year and do events. I'm going to actually have to take everything to the next level because it's giving me exactly what I asked for. Now I'm going to have to act on it. So, so many of you are asking, asking and you shall receive for things, but you're not taking that action when it's there. It's like you have all these things sitting there. You don't take the step to get the new kind of training. You don't take the internet training. What the heck is the big damn deal about that? If I hear one more person, oh, it's a scam, or, oh, you're learning how to use the internet to create a business. Why are people so afraid of stuff like that? And that's just one example of so many things out there. People are so afraid to learn something new. It's just because it's so different. Guess what? It's not going to be so different in a couple of years when everybody's doing it, and you're going to be, you know, left in the dust going, crap, I'm still, you know, uh, working my tail off every day at an office or a manufacturing plant or working two jobs. I know so many of you working two jobs and trying to fit in anything that's going to get you out of that. It's time. It's time and you've got to be diligent and dedicated and say, I'm going to have to do some things to get there, but you get out of your situation. That day you're going, oh my God, I did it. I'm actually making money here. I'm having fun. I actually get to go, you know, make furniture for a living. And then all, then all of a sudden you're making really good money doing that. And you go, oh, I didn't expect that. I'm just doing it because I love it. And if I made money, that's great. But now all of a sudden, like, you know, maybe you're like, 
doing exhibits because your furniture is so beautiful and people are willing to pay a lot of money because it's so gorgeous. And again, if that's not the focus, the passion is the focus. You're going to do well. You're going to flourish. You're going to be abundant because the joy is what brings the abundance. And when you're working in a job you hate, you don't have joy, it's going to be a battle right up to the end. It's not going to change. You have to make some kind of move to get out of that, to change that and get into passion. It's the joy that creates the abundance prosperity. It's the feelings that create happiness, abundance. When you go into that space in everything you do every day, and if some of you are doing that, and you're feeling really good and you're joyful in what you're doing, but you don't make a lot of money, there are other things for you to do to make money to help you accelerate where you're doing. It could be what you're doing now. If you are into something passionate, you love, and you're not making a lot of money, there are other ways to change that business so that it'll produce more income for you so you can relax more about that part of your life that entails paying bills, right? It's time to break out. Time to break out of that box. Live the life of passion. Live the passion first. You will work on The universe will help you work on this. The universe will send you all kinds of things, opportunities. You've got to act on them. You've got to stop hanging on to the fear. If you want to make a positive change, you've got to let that fear go and start to step into some unknown turf and exploring it. And if that doesn't work, it's taking you to something else that will. But you had to do that step first. Sometimes people are so afraid that, oh, it didn't work perfect. No, what did you learn? And now you're in a different place that's going to take you here, then take you there. And you get to where you need to be. And it's fabulous. And it comes with challenges too, but it's such a different kind of challenge than the one where you don't love anything about your life. Let go of the fear and the abundance flows. Pursue the passion and the joy and prosperity will start to appear and grow and grow and grow. And then your joy and passion grows and then the money starts to grow. Everything does. You are whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. You are a miracle worker. When are you going to start using those powers? We are one. Namaste.